So we're just here at the Colorado Ski Museum, and this gets into the history of skiing. Vail is now 50 years old here, but skiing back 2,500 years ago. In Norway, they've got uh, carvings found of people 2,500 years ago uh, with uh, skis and holding a pole. But most of the competitive skiing started with the Norwegians in 1767 in the military. So um, it's quite interesting. Look at the length of these skis here. I guess the people were pretty tall back then, actually, just kidding. And uh, this is just, you know, old stuff here. And there's an old snowmobile, I guess a snow toboggan or something. And I remember the old rope toes from the 60s right here. Went through many pairs of gloves on uh, those things. And um, this area is just showing some of the resorts around the Colorado area, some that are no longer around. And uh, here's a map showing all the resorts. And we're right now in Vail. Um, but you can see some of the different resorts, and there's Denver down there. And as we look around here, we see some of the uh, old equipment. And look at some of these crazy colorful boots from the 1980s and the skis. That's actually a pair of K2s like what I had right there. And um, some of the boots from the 60s, weird and wild designs. And here's some boots from the 70s here. And I remember these boots from the 60s. And here's some lace-up boots. Let's just go around the other side here. Here's some old wooden skis with the old uh, bindings with the uh, cable bindings. And my first set of skis had cable bindings like this. And here's the first snowboards. And um, they're called winter sticks, I guess. And that started in 1970, was when they started out with uh, winter sticks. There was a winter stick round tail. So here's all of the snowboards from the 1970s. And of course, Burton snowboards. And then now as we get into the, let's see, 1980s here with um, some different boards. There's lots and lots of boards all around this area here in this part of the uh, display this part of the museum and from the Olympics back uh, Rob, start, over start, here, Rob. start over here with the earliest Rob, over Olympics. Here, 1924. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, what's the deal? The Olympics starts here in 1924, Chamonix, France. Then it goes to Saint Moritz, Lake Placid, Lake New York. Uh huh. Then Garmisch Partner Kitchen in Germany. Okay. Then Saint Moritz, Switzerland. Okay, so this is all the clothing and the different skis that were used in those time periods. Okay, very interesting. This is Cortina da Pezzo in Italy, mm -hmm. 56. Squaw Valley, Utah. Or no, that's California. So these are all the years that the Olympics yeah. were held. Cool. And, and then here we are at Denver, 1976, Winter, Winter Olympics. And, wow, well, this is pretty cool. Look at some of the weird and wonderful outfits that they have, like El Albertville, 1992. Sarajevo, Calgary. Here's there's Calgary, Calgary 1988. And uh, there's the, the jump there in Calgary. Some of the skis that they were using. What do you think of this outfit? I know, that's pretty wild. It looks like something from outer space. Yeah. And uh, Lily Hammer. Lily Hammer, 1994. Nagano, 1998. That's Japan. And some of the outfits there. And the skis that were used. Where's the current stuff, Phil? Salt Lake Salt City, Lake 2002. City, 2002. Torino. Torino, Italy, 2006, and Vancouver, 2010. There's Lindsay Vaughn. Mm -hmm. She's from Vail. She won the Olympics, yeah. Okay, and then 2010. Here's the stuff from 2010. Yeah. And that's it. That's it and for then, the Olympics. And what's all this over here? Beginning of Vail. Oh, this is showing about how they started Charles Vail. 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 He's the guy that found yeah. it? Yeah, and then come to the Indians. See, there's Charles Vail. Okay. And this okay. is Peter. This is the guy that actually started the dream. Okay. And what else have we got here? Some old maps here. And these show some of the maps, I guess, when they were laying out the ski resort here in Vail. 
There's an old car. And what have we got here? Just metals and things. And these are different people, I guess, that have uh, one. This is called the Colorado Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame. Lots of pictures, lots of interesting stories. So I'll include some links below in the description. And this uh, museum is also part of a gift shop. And they've got some beautiful gifts and books and things. And I think they have like a theater or a talk going on over there. These are the people that run the shop. And do you guys have a website? www.skimuseum.net Perfect. And a Facebook site, too. Which is? Colorado Ski and Snowboard Museum. Excellent. Thank you very much. You're welcome.